guys, welcome to PLT Nutrition and Fitness. I'm Paul and today I'm going to be taking you through how to enter uh, your day's food into MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal is certainly the uh, most popular food tracking app on the market. Uh, lots of clients use it so today I'm going to be uh, looking at macros that would be fairly typical for a lady uh, and showing you how to enter them into MyFitnessPal. Okay, so we have 130 grams of protein that we need to try and eat. That's our target. Uh, so for meal one, uh, I certainly recommend that we spread our protein fairly evenly through the day. So it's good to start um, breakfast uh, with some protein. I particularly like eggs. So I am going to have one whole egg uh, with some egg whites uh, and scramble them. The egg whites help expand uh, the amount of the scramble, but without using too much fat. So I'm going to add those uh, for meal one. Um, my lunch, I will have a ground turkey taco. So there's my four ounces of ground turkey, which I know I need. Uh, to make two uh, ground turkey uh, tacos. Um, and then meal five, which will be dinner. Um, I'm going to eat some chicken breast. Um, if you know me, I do like to eat chicken. Um, so I'm going to go with four ounces. I don't know whether that's enough at this stage. Um, but uh, I'm going to start with four ounces and add that to my dinner. I like to eat before bed, um, so I always recommend that people try and eat some protein before bed. It certainly helps sleep. Um, so I like to eat uh, non-fat Greek yogurt. So there I've got a standard portion of 227 grams. Uh, so I've added that. So if I turn the uh, device sideways, it will show me the macros so far. So if I rotate the phone. And I scroll down, you can see here on the right, it says 101. So, so far I've got 101 grams of protein and I need 130. So I need to change one of the portion sizes. I rotate the phone back. Uh, I'm gonna increase my chicken to six ounces. I've currently got 34.7. I need to find another 30 grams. So if I make that six, if I rotate my phone once more and scroll down, I'm now at 118 grams. So I still need a little bit more. Um, I do like to have a mid-morning uh, meal. So I'm gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I do know that peanut butter has some protein. We class it as a source of protein, but certainly it does have protein. So let me just add that into meal two. One last time, rotate the phone, scroll down. And now we've got 125 grams of protein. And that's pretty good. So I'm happy with my protein. Okay, so now um, we need to add in the carbs for the day. And the carb target is 150 grams. So I'm going to start with meal two, uh, which is my mid-morning yeah, food or snack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's a peanut butter jelly sandwich. So I'm going to add uh, I need two slices of bread. So I add two slices of whole wheat bread there. And I obviously need some jam. So 20 grams is the standard serving. So I add those into meal two. Meal three for my tacos. Uh, I'd like some lettuce. So I'm gonna choose romaine salad lettuce. Um, add that. For my evening meal, I like sweet potato. I like it for the micronutrients that you get. I like it for the potassium. It's just personal choice. Again, 
uh, as I said, you know, this is really just the kinds of foods that I eat. You should totally uh, eat the foods that you enjoy. Um, I'm going to have four ounces of broccoli uh, and that should give me enough at the stage. Meal six, uh, which is my pre-bed snack. Uh, Greek yogurt, I like Greek yogurt, but you know, it can be a bit sharp. So I like to try and add something just to spice it up a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna add some berries and I'm gonna add some chocolate chip pieces. I like those. So I've added carbs into each meal. But I need to see how many grams I've added. So I'll turn my device sideways. And if I scroll down, uh, I'm up to 101 uh, and I need 150. So if I scroll back, if I add, let's add some more vegetables to my evening meal, uh, some Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are really good. I like Brussels sprouts. So I'll add those into my evening meal. Uh, tacos, yeah, I'm going to have an avocado. That's got some carbs in it, but we'll just leave that for the moment. Um, breakfast, I'm going to have um, two slices of whole wheat toast again, because that would be nice with the scrambled egg. So, we'll turn our device sideways once more. If you scroll down, we now have 135 grams of carbs, and that's a good target. So lastly, uh, I need to try and just match up my uh, fat if I can. So turn the device sideways, how much fat have we got? We've used 42 grams. The reason why we always advise you to put in your fat last is because there's always trace fats in other foods. So you start off by laying out your protein throughout the day, adding your carbs throughout the day, and then you'll naturally utilize some of your uh, fat. You can see I've got 42. I'm supposed to have 50. Uh, 42 would be sufficient. You don't need you to get that close. Um, but my, I know for a fact that uh, meal free is tacos, so I certainly want to add uh, a little bit of sour cream Sour cream is really good for macros, especially if you choose the light option. Um, and I'd like to add some avocado. Let's see what that does to my overall totals. I'm not going to add anything anywhere else. I don't think I've got that much room, my fat macros. I turn the device sideways. I'm now at 149. As you can see, it has slightly increased my uh, carbs too as well as my uh, protein. So now my totals are 139 carbs, 49 fat, and 148 protein. And that is very, very good indeed. So remember guys, always try and plot your protein first throughout the day, then add your carbs throughout each meal. Lastly, just true up your fat. Just a reminder, I selected the type of foods that I enjoy, how, how you choose to eat is entirely up to you. It's all about balance, making sure you get plenty of vegetables, nice lean proteins, um, but the food choices are always yours. Hopefully that was really helpful for you. Thanks everybody, have a good day.